Hey guys, it's Becca here. So today I'm going to be doing a review for you. And this is actually a review for the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. Um, it was requested by Beach Girl 7611 And I'm sure you've seen quite a bit of reviews for this so far. But I think mine probably will be just a little bit different. Um, just to start off, this is the basic packaging. Um, the lid comes off and it has a really nice pump. And, I mean, the packaging is really, really pretty. I got mine in 002, which is vanilla, which is the lightest color I've seen. Um, if there is, like, a 001, I haven't seen it. So, I don't know. But, I have watched a lot of reviews on this myself, and everyone loves it. They, they love everything about it. The only complaint I hear is, like, there's too much shimmer in it and I've had this probably a good month if not a little bit more um, I have put it on let me show you I'll show you I put it on with this kind of foundation brush I've stippled it on with my stippling brush I've used my fingers I've used this more flimsy one that I have um, I have used uh, a makeup sponge. I have tried every way of application. And I don't like it. Um, I don't. A lot of people say that it's full coverage. I don't feel like it's full coverage for me. Um, if I put on a layer and let it dry really well, and put a, try to put a layer on top of it, try to build it up to full coverage, it just gets really, really um, like gummy on my face and looks really bad. And I have it on right now, and it looks fine, like, on camera right here, but let me see I can get up here. Hmm. You probably won't be able to see that, but I have really, really dry skin, and I feel like all this makeup does is accentuate my dry skin. It just grabs on to any dry areas and makes these, like, like, my face looks like... A two-toned like cheetah like any little dry spot has a little circle of this makeup build up around it um, so for me this is a bust it costs about I got mine for $12 someone said that they're about 14 I did get mine for 12 but I live in Indiana so things may be a little bit cheaper here and I normally don't spend that on a foundation. Um, my limit is usually about 10 unless I can get like a good uh, BOGO sale or something. But I really, really wanted to love it. I wanted to. So I tried every way of application. I tried every different kind of primer that I have. I tried it with all my primers. I tried it with no primer. And I just couldn't love it. And. I, I really wanted to. I really wanted to love it, but I don't. And that kind of that kind of sucks. <laughs> I really I, I really wanted to love it. I don't feel that it's too shimmery. That's not my a complaint. I I didn't find it too shimmery for me. I I just found that it didn't go well with my skin. And I feel like the color at first I thought the color was too light, but really I don't think the color is too light because I am so super pale. But, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I thought about giving it away, but I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in it. Especially because it is 002. I mean, it's really, really light. Um, but I thought about giving it away. Um, whatever you think. I, I mean, if you think that would be an okay thing to do, let me know. I mean, I just pump it out. I mean, it isn't like a lip gloss where I stick the tube in, put it on my mouth or anything but I don't know but as far as my review it gets a a zero I mean well I guess I'll give it a, a two out of ten because the packaging is really nice I really like that it has a pump that was really really nice so just let me know what you think about it um, if there's any suggestions you can give me ways I might like it I think I've tried about everything but, and also if you think it's okay to give away or you might want it, just let me know and I'll talk to you guys later.